the elegant beauty of angelfish to the dynamic nature of mollies, this video promises you a list of 21 recommended freshwater fish suitable for your 55 gallon tank. Swimming gracefully in first, here's the freshwater angelfish. Renowned for their beauty and grace, these species can flourish in a typical four-foot aquarium. These captivating South American cichlids come in various breeds, spanning from pristine white to deep black and even multicolored varieties. Opting for a pair of angelfish in a 55-gallon planted tank is often a commendable choice. However, it's important to note that during breeding periods, these fish may exhibit territorial tendencies and they might consume smaller fish, particularly nano species, if they manage to catch them, of course. We have a host of angelfish related content available on our channel. Check out this one about the various breeds in the card above. Our second beauty on our list, here comes the Congo Tetra. Congo Tetras are enchanting African schooling fish and are a great fit for larger aquariums. Distinguished by vibrant neon blue hues, males showcase an orange horizontal stripe and distinctive pointed tail fins. In contrast, females exhibit an elegant gold silvery coloration with shorter tails and more compact dorsal fins. Additionally, introducing a school of six or more Congo Tetras can bring lots of movement and greatly complement your centerpiece fish in a 55 gallon tank. Plus, they're large enough where they won't get lost in a four foot aquarium. Ladies and gentlemen, we have African cichlids in the house. A four foot tank offers adequate space for an African cichlid setup, but selecting suitable species is critical to minimize territorial conflicts. They also require hard, high pH water, which may require you to buffer your water or use limestone rock to keep the parameters stable. Optimal choices for this tank size include smaller Mbuna cichlids such as yellow labs or other compact species like shell dwellers. Alternatively, initiating a breeding group of slightly larger species such as smaller peacocks is also viable. There are tons of African cichlids you can choose from that go beyond this video. How about checking out this one all about their various breeds? It's another card for you to take a look at. This bottom dweller also takes over this list. It's the Syndontis catfish. The aquarium hobby offers a variety of catfish species, and these intriguing fish are particularly favored as bottom dwelling companions in African cichlid tanks. While it's possible to keep these bottom dwelling fish with other compatible tank mates, it's advisable to steer clear of smaller, slow moving species as they might become prey. Also, they prefer the company of their own kind, so it's advisable to acquire a school of five or more so they can be comfortable. Coming up is the king of the aquarium, the discus. If you've harbored a dream of keeping the king of the aquarium but lack the space for a larger tank, attempting to house discus in a 55 gallon setup is an option. However, be prepared for the dedication needed to perform frequent water changes. These fish require pristine water conditions, which can be a challenge in a mid-sized aquarium like a 55 gallon tank. Regular monitoring and adjustments to water parameters will be essential to meet the specific needs of discus cichlids in a smaller tank. While it's possible to keep discus in a 55 gallon tank, it's important to note that you'll have better success if you can size up to at least a 75 gallon tank. However, for those brave enough, it's doable. Small and active also fits this list. Here's the Corydoras catfish. Corydoras catfish are suitable for tanks as modest as 30 gallons, but a more expansive four foot tank offers the opportunity to maintain a larger school or experiment with multiple species. These peaceful fish prefer the lower regions of the tank, scavenging the bottom of the aquarium for food. Numerous variations exist such as panda quarries, stirby quarries, and albino breeds, yet these social creatures thrive best among their own kind. Assemble a school of at least five individuals of the same species and give them sinking bottom feeder tablets so they can remain well fed. Ram cichlids fill a lucky position seven on this list. Hailing from South America, the ram dwarf cichlid boasts striking colors and a somewhat reserved and delicate nature for its cichlid status, making it a splendid choice for a 55 gallon aquarium. Found in the lower regions of the tank, ram cichlids sift through a sandy substrate in pursuit of meals, making them best suited in a sand-based setup. To replicate their tropical habitat, maintain warm water conditions by setting the heater in the low 80s. Keep this temperature range in mind when looking for tank mates. Tiny but mighty, Neon Tetras are our 55 gallon tank mate dreams. Buck in the trend, the Neon Tetra challenges the notion that small fish can't flourish in a vast tank. Renowned as a timeless community fish, these vibrant creatures come to life in large aquariums full of lush and live plants and accompanied by other peaceful species. The swimming space of a 55 gallon tank creates an ideal environment for Neon Tetra, allowing them to showcase their beauty in a large, captivating school. With more space and comfort, their vibrant colors truly come to life here. 
creating a stunning visual display for all to see. Combining these fish with muted centerpiece fish, or just keeping them in a massive school on their own, and they'll make any aquascape shine. Looking for another choice? Then here's our small to mid-sized plecos. With well over 100 pleco species ranging from those exceeding a foot in length to more manageable sizes, some are perfectly suited for a 55-gallon tank and even assist in algae control. These peaceful bottom-dwelling plecos coexist harmoniously with smaller fish, yet they can hold their own in community tanks alongside medium-sized counterparts. You can enhance their habitat with some rocks and some driftwood where they'll be happy to lay on. Here's another vibrant choice. It's a wonder called Geophagus. A colorful South American cichlid, Geophagus stands out with their distinctive feeding behavior. Ranging from medium to large, these fish sift through the substrate in pursuit of food, making them less suitable for intricately aquascaped tanks. For an optimal setup, provide the Geophagus cichlids with a fine sandy substrate. Opt for smaller species like Geophagus topaios, which typically reach around 6 inches or smaller. Splash some kisses to this rainbow fish bursting onto this list. Rainbow fish, known for their peaceful nature and schooling behavior, bring colors and motion to your 55-gallon aquarium. With intriguing body shapes, a variety of species are available, including the well-liked Bosmani rainbow and the smaller dwarf neon rainbow. Some are large enough to mix with semi-aggressive species even. Oozing in at number 12, it's the convict cichlid. Sporting a distinctive appearance with its gray color and vertical black stripes, the convict cichlid could easily be mistaken for a resident of a prison. Surprisingly, these South American cichlids are well suited for a 55-gallon aquarium, making them an excellent choice for hobbyists. Notably, they proved to be exceptionally easy to breed. However, the frequency of their reproduction might lead some aquarists to consider alternative species if they're not prepared to manage the care, the aggression that comes with breeding, and the raising of the numerous tiny fry produced by these prolific breeders. With love, this tiger barb made it to the tub. Distinguished by its orange body and four striking vertical black stripes, the tiger barb stands out as a schooling fish originating from Southeast Asia. Known for their overreactive nature, these barbs have earned a reputation for nipping at other fish, although this behavior tends to subside when they're kept in larger schools of 15 individuals or more. Tiger barbs can be compatible tank mates with various bottom-dwelling and fast-moving schooling fish. However, caution is advised when selecting companions, as it's best to avoid slow-moving tank mates or those with long, flowing fins. Also, the more tiger barbs you get, the less there is of a risk for nipping. Usually 15 is a good start for a group, as this size is large enough that they'll pick on each other versus your other tank mates. Here's the majestic beauty, the Rainbow Cichlid. Displaying stunning beauty, the rainbow cichlid is a native to Central America and stands out as a relatively peaceful member of the cichlid family. However, it's worth noting that cichlids are not typically recommended for a standard community tank. When paired, these cichlids can thrive in a well-planted environment, making them an excellent addition alongside suitable tank mates. Also known as Roseline Shark, here's the Denison Barb. Denison barbs stand out as some of the most aesthetically pleasing barbs in the hobby, and these swift schooling fish blend sleek lines and silvery scales that go along with a red streak and yellow tail spots. For these active and sizable freshwater fish, a 55-gallon tank offers optimal swimming space, particularly when forming a small school of six or more individuals. It's important to consider their preference for cooler water temperatures when selecting suitable tank mates. Definitely do not house them with fish that prefer temperatures over 75 degrees like discus, as their water range preferences do conflict. Let's get mesmerized with the electric blue Akara in number 16. Distinguished by its vibrant hues, the electric blue Akara emerges as a variation of the standard blue Akara, securing its place as a great centerpiece fish in the aquarium hobby. These dynamic South American cichlids not only add color, but are also compatible with various species, including fellow cichlids such as angelfish and geophagus, thanks to their mild manners and size that keeps them from getting picked on. Say hello to our giant Danio. While Danios are commonly associated with tiny nanofish, the giant Danio breaks free from that stereotype. Sporting gold to orange stripes on a cobalt blue body, these beautiful fish stand out in the aquarium. With their fast swimming and schooling nature, giant Danios can grow up to 6 inches, making a 55 gallon tank an ideal setting that offers space for a small group to thrive. Alright, this video would not be complete without fancy goldfish on the list. 
Goldfish, recognized for their peaceful demeanor, long lifespans, and distinctive personalities, come in various breeds, with fancy goldfish displaying many shapes and colors like black moors, ranches, and ryokins thanks to selective breeding. Contrary to the common association with glass bowls, goldfish actually require ample space. A 55-gallon tank proves to be an excellent size, accommodating three or four adult fancy goldfish comfortably. If you're looking for more insights into selecting the perfect breeds for your tank, check out this card about goldfish species. We feature over 30 in this video. Another barb we've got is the friendly Rosie. Known for their peaceful nature, rosy barbs make for delightful schooling fish that thrive in cool water aquariums. They've got a golden orange hue with males exhibiting more vivid colors than females. There's also long fin varieties that can add additional elegance to your fish tank. In a small school, these medium-sized fish coexist harmoniously with many small to medium-sized community fish that share similar environmental preferences. This makes rosy barbs a versatile and appealing addition to a community aquarium setup. Here's an out-of-the-box suggestion. How about female bettas as an option? While the most common approach to keeping betta fish involves housing a single male in a small aquarium, some aquarists successfully maintain multiple female bettas in a shared tank, a practice known as a betta sorority. This unique option is particularly intriguing for a 55-gallon aquarium. However, it's important to note that a sorority tank is not recommended for beginners, and the key to success lies in having only females, making sure they're related, and maintaining a minimum group size of at least four to distribute aggression effectively. You can attempt either just female betta or mix in other fish that don't conflict in their swimming space, such as Corydoras catfish. Now, let's look at mollies. Mollies are versatile medium-sized live bearers, and they prove to be an excellent option to a 55-gallon aquarium. Their adaptability shines, as they can thrive in various environments, including saltwater tanks, although they're commonly kept in hard, freshwater setups. Comprising of three popular species, mollies have undergone hybridization and selective breeding, which results in a stunning array of colors and varieties. These include the popular balloon molly and various fancy breeds. Mollies display compatibility with many peaceful fish, also making them suitable for both community tanks and dedicated live bearer setups alongside guppies and similar species. Selecting the perfect fish for your aquarium is both thrilling and a bit challenging. Whether you're planning a 55-gallon tank or adding to your current setup, remember, with the right care, these mentioned fish species are sure to thrive. So, help us compile more videos just like this by liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. Or better yet, click on the next video to your right. Until next time, we'll catch you later.